despite the crisis that the aviation has faced in 2020, we at Eurocontrol Bretigny have shaped a new strategy in order to support the digital transformation of the European air transport. We are currently setting up a European network of innovation labs with Eurocontrol Bretigny acting as the innovation hub in order to accelerate the implementation of innovative and sustainable solutions. The work has already started with three pilot projects in cooperation with seven key European airlines and a major European airport in order to improve the way we address their operational needs. Simulations in support of the airspace redesign and air and projects have remained one of the key activities of the center. In 2020, we finalized the airspace simulation for Israel and Cyprus, whose results have recently been implemented. We also conducted two very large simulations for Istanbul, for the EMA and for the airport, involving hundreds of controllers. Recently, we have completed the simulation for Perichos de Gaulle Airport, while respecting health and sanitary measures. Drones and urban air mobility are a new strategic pillar for Brettany. We've recently delivered our first airspace assessment for the integration of drones. We are currently preparing the chorus extension for urban air mobility, which involves demonstrations in six different European countries. Paris area demonstration forms part of the preparation of air mobility for the 2024 Olympic Games. The sustainability of aviation is one of our main priorities, especially in the context of the European Green Deal. In 2020, we've been working on a dashboard of environmental metrics in order to facilitate decision making. With colleagues from NUAC, we've been working on an operational system to avoid areas with a high likelihood of contrail serious cloud formation, which contribute significantly to global warming. At the same time, our noise, emissions and air quality tools have been increasingly adopted by major aviation players. Finally, we've integrated our emissions model in the network simulator to allow for European-wide CO2 and non-CO2 emissions assessment. It has been absolutely essential to continue the CESAR program activities during the COVID crisis. Together with our partners, we revised the CESAR project to concentrate the efforts on the solutions, bringing the most value to our stakeholders. We continue to support Eurocontrol Network Manager. We develop solutions such as the Network Performance Dashboard. Finally, we expect to continue to innovate during the CESAR 3 program that has already started to take shape.